Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to measure the width of a hair with a ruler. You say that's crazy, can't be done. It can actually, but it's a little difficult because if you take a single human hair and you put it alongside a ruler that's marked in millimetres, all you can say is that the hair is much less than a millimetre wide. If you're going to measure the width of that hair, you'll need to do something else with it first. Let me show you, first of all, by using not hair, but wire, which is a good bit thicker than hair. There's a length of wire. Now, if we tried to measure the width of that wire with my ruler, all we could say is, well, that is also less than a millimetre. It's wider than the hair, but it's still less than a millimetre. OK, what I'm going to do is to take a pen or a pencil, and I'm going to wind the wire around that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten turns. Then I'm going to push the turns next to each other until they're very close together. And now I have some wire and I can measure the thickness of those ten strands of wire. Let's have a look at this. If I put it next to the ruler, we find that the ten strands of wire are about, mm, if we push them close together, about four millimetres. So we can say, so far as wire goes, this wire, 10 strands are four millimetres wide. How do we work out the width of one strand? Of course, we divide by 10. Four divided by 10, or 0.4 of a millimetre, is the width of one strand of wire. Now, let's get back to the human hair. What will we do with that? Well, 10 strands won't be wide enough to measure. What I'd suggest is that you need about 100 strands of human hair. Now, you'll never wind 100 strands of hair that length around a pen this thickness. So two things. First of all, find the longest piece of human hair you can. And secondly, use something that's very narrow diameter. You could use a skewer or a matchstick and wind it around until you get 100 turns. You may need several pieces of hair before you've counted to 100. And you can say, well, right, 100 strands of hair in thickness make so many millimetres. How do you work out the thickness of one human hair? Of course, you divide by 100. And that'll give you the thickness of a human hair in millimetres. You try it. I want to know